Well, Audi has launched its smallest ever SUV in Europe this week, and at just over four meters long, it's perfect for those tiny inner city parking spots. The Q2's distinctively geometric form language hints at a new direction for the four-ringed brand. Its high set, single frame grille and contrasting side blades combine with a shortened rear end to exaggerate the compact model's proportions. Inside, the five-seat cabin's taut, upright surfaces exaggerate the feeling of inner space. The wide opening doors allow easy entry and exit, and although rear seat headroom is a little tight, the remainder of the space is very well utilised. In spite of its diminutive size, the Q2 loses little of the functionality, design or technology of Audi's larger SUVs. Generous equipment, infotainment and safety technology is included throughout the range. On certain models we find the Audi Virtual Cockpit, Premium Bang & Olufsen Audio System and Stop & Go Radar Cruise Control. Audi will offer as many as 8 driveline options for the Q2 in Europe with turbocharged petrol and diesel engines available. All are available with a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, Quattro all-wheel drive is also offered. Of course, the diesel engine is going to be more torquey, there's no surprise there. They're both geared really well and they get along okay. The differences tend to come from acoustics. The diesel's quite noticeably a diesel, it's a little bit rattly, it does present that diesel chatter when it's under load. Uh, the 1.4 turbo petrol, on the other hand, is a really smooth engine. It's not even that raucous when you're really giving it a bootful. It seems to shift along through the gearbox just a little bit more cleanly than the diesel does. The lightweight Q2 is also available with variable speed electric assisted steering and adaptive damping. Well, when you hear that Audi has made the smallest SUV it's ever produced, you might think, of course, there's going to be some dilution in the quality of the vehicle especially compared to its bigger SUVs, but that's just not the case. It's quite secure on the road, it actually drives really well, it's a little bit of fun in corners, and look, most of that comes from the fact that Audi has pushed the wheelbase as far as it can and kept the overhangs really short. Cabin space is really a lot better than you'd think it's going to be. There's, the boot space is huge for this class of vehicle. In fact, the only real compromise comes from the back seat. As you'd expect with such a rakish roof line, headroom does suffer a little bit. The Audi Q2 is expected to go on sale in Australia early next year.